students today we are going to discuss another important isomerism that is conformational isomers that is conformational isomerism it is part of uh, that uh, stereo isomerism we can say that uh, conformational isomerism it uh, can be inter interconverted by the rotation of carbon carbon bonds that means it has free rotation conformational isomers it has free rotation has free carbon carbon rotation that's why it is called conformational isomers it can be interconvertible by free rotation of carbon carbon bonds that's why it is called conformational isomers and conformational isomers uh, can be expressed in two forms either in generally in newman projection form newman projection or it can express as sorbs formula either in sorbs formula or in newman projection it can be expressed and generally conformational isomers if you uh, discuss the types of conformational isomers generally types if you discuss generally exist in first one is staggered staggered form second one is that is partially eclipsed then skewed or gut skew or gut form then last one is fully eclipsed this four forms stagger partial eclipse and uh, skew or gut that is fully eclipse if this type of conformational isomers exist and this conformational isomer can be represented by using newman projection formula and sorbs formula and uh, i will just uh, discuss one example that is uh, ether we take the examples ether Ethan, this uh, general that is general formula is C H three C H three. If you express this uh, structure in Newman projection formula, let it will be first carbon. This is your second carbon, and uh, generally first carbon that is a front carbon, second carbon you take as a back carbon. Back carbon is generally represented as that is circle and having three hydrogen. Each How much? One twenty degree difference. There exists in one twenty. This is the back carbon and their hydrogen. Then front carbon is one. It has also three hydrogen. This is your front carbon. This is hmm. here you see here all the hydrogen back carbon C H bond and front carbon C H bond in opposite. That is anti. This is called anti. Antiform, or it is called as also stagger form. Stagger form. As the repulsion is least, because CH bond and CH bond just opposite, so least repulsion. Least repulsion and most stable and maximum energy. is very important it is least stable sorry least repulsion so most stable and max that is minimum energy sorry this is minimum energy max not maximum minimum because most stable minimum energy minimum energy most stable and least repulsion 
this is the this form opposite form is anti form or standard form we know that one form can be converted to another form by rotation of front carbon how much by 60 degree because the difference is 60 degree this difference is 60 degree so you can rotate 60 degree if you rotate 60 degree then the back carbon will remain in same no change in arrangement but front carbon will be rotated clockwise this direction that is clockwise then it will be it will come to this side it will come to 60 degree means you will rotate so to come to it will come to this is the front so 60 degree means it come to this one this structure and this structure is just very close to each other and it is called active form active structure and as they are very close to each other CH bond of back side and front side so maximum repulsion maximum repulsion and maximum energy and most stable least stable least stable okay so you have to take care of this thing Active form are very close to each other that's a maximum repulsion between CH CH bond and that maximum repulsion means energy increases that's a maximum energy and least stable so this is called active form so ethane has these two structure but this structure can be retained in source formula this is the new man projection in source formula it can be written as like this so this is your H this is your H this is your H this is your source formula source formula of ethane and this structure can be shown in this way but you see this is one source formula of so this your that orange spheres consider orange balls consider as a hydrogen and this black sphere consider as a but carbon so c has 3 c has 3 that is c has 3 c has 3 that is ethan you see the structure this structure if you draw like this just you see this hydrogen front are front hydrogen that is CH bond is opposite of back just opposite this one and this one similarly this CH bond this CH bond this CH bond is opposite of this and this CH bond opposite of this and this CH bond opposite of this so like this it is arranged and this structure is called what? stagger form opposite or this one and this one opposite but how it will be at least you have to rotate so as the structure is like this you have to think like this so this is front carbon for you this is front carbon this is the front carbon for you you have to rotate this one you have to rotate like this if you rotate you see these are very close to each other front to front coming this is the back carbon, this is the front carbon, CH bond and CH bond coming to the and if it will be like this, just you see, this is opposite, this is opposite, but if you rotate, it will be, ethane will be either staggered or eclipsed, again it will rotate to staggered, again eclipsed, so there will be interchange of staggered to eclipse or eclipse to staggered, so ethane can be expressed in this source formula, and the Newman projection and this formula we can say is stagger because opposite so this is the structure of ethane and ethane and methane stability already I told you energy gap between stagger and at least 
is 12.5 kJ this is the energy gap 12.5 so this energy gap exists between stabber and detectist so in case of ethane similarly for propane For propane general formula is CH2, CH2, CH3. So you take this is your first carbon, this is your second carbon, that means front carbon, back carbon, back carbon contain you see back carbon contain three hydrogen, first hydrogen, second hydrogen, and third hydrogen, and your front carbon contain two hydrogen. This is your two hydrogen and one methyl. This is and this structure as you compare the CH and CH3 bond. You got two types of bond here. One is CH bond, another is CH3 bond. So you compare CH bond and CH3 bond just opposite. So it is stable. We have to see the large size atom and small size atom. Then we can know the difference. So CH and CH3 opposite, that's a stagger. Then 60 degree if you rotate, 60 degree. What result will come? Just to see, this structure is same as previous. And the front carbon will rotate 60 degree. 60 degree rotate means it will come to this. So this will be hydrogen and this will be methyl. And this will be hydrogen. And this structure is the maximum repulsion. That's what is called fully active. Fully active. Fully active or active form, you can say. Then again, 60 degree if you do, which form will come? It will come if you see this is the structure. This is H. This is your. Uh, first position that H and this is your H and here if you rotate then it will form your hydrogen then methyl will come to this side then H will be this side so it is less repulsion less repulsion because just opposite then less this is called skew this is called skew form skew form or gutch form Gutch or skew, and this is fully active. So, three types of isomer possible in case of propane one is staggered, fully active, and skew. If you see the stability order, stability order that first is staggered, least repulsion, then which is coming that your skew, then active as it has no other form so we can tell it is fully active fully active skew fully active also called as only active you can write also so fully active is the least stable then skew then standard this is in terms of stability in terms of energy energy order will be active Greater than skew, greater than stagger. This is the energy order and this is the stability order. So, this is the important structure of what? Stagger, active, and skew form of the propane. Similarly, we can write about butane. Butane, this is the ethane, a structure. Second propane, third one is butane. Butane, that general formula is CH3, CH2, CH2, CH3, CH3, CH2, CH2, CH3. You fix as different groups are methyl group are mainly different. We are, we are giving more importance to methyl group because the bulky group. So, including the first carbon, it will be the second carbon. So, for second carbon means back carbon. Back carbon contains per structure two hydrogen one methyl. So 
this structure can be written as this is two hydrogen and one methyl clear so two hydrogen one methyl then front carbon two hydrogen one methyl front carbon also two hydrogen one one methyl just to see between two methyl CH3 CH3 front and back just opposite that's what is called staggered R is opposite this is staggered if you rotate 60 degree this is for butane conformers conformers of butane if you do that the front back carbon is same H H and CH3 and front carbon will be rotating like this so this is your front so H then CH3 then H so this is what partially eclipsed partially eclipsed ok next one you think ok which will come first this is partially eclipsed then again 60 degree if you do then which structure is coming this is your back the remaining cell then front will be just rotating it will be CS3 here then H then H this is skew this structure is skew again 60 degree if you do so this is your structure 1 structure 2 structure 3 then structure 4 same this is if you do, you bring other sides. So it will be like this. Back edge, edge, CS3. Then if you rotate, it will come to CS3, closer to CS3, then edge. In this case, what happens? Just you see two methyl very close to each other. Two methyl very close to each other. Then it will become eclipsed. Or fully eclipsed. You can tell. Fully eclipsed. Fully eclipsed. That is Q. Parcel eclipsed. And seven. If you rotate again. If you again rotate. 60 degree. Then which will be repeated again? So it will come to this side, two methyl separate, then skew will come again, again skew will come, after rotation it will be again skew, because gap will be methyl, like this skew, so stagger, partial eclipse, skew, fully eclipse, skew, partial eclipse, then stagger, like this, it will be interconverted, so one isomer, this is the conformational isomers of Butane. Butane has four types of isomeric structure in form that is staggered, partial eclipse, skew or gutch, and fully eclipse. So, this type of structure is possible. You will see the stability order in case of that uh, butane stability as for the repulsion, as the least repulsion, opposite least repulsion. So, first will be staggered. Here, then which will come skew, gap is there, then skew, then which is coming partially eclipsed, then that is fully eclipsed. So, these are the stability. So, stability order of this staggered partially eclipsed skew. And if you draw a graph between energy diagram of these structures, if you draw the energy diagram, if you see, this is your angle, that 0 degree, 60 degree, then 120 degree, then 180 degree, then 240, then 300. So like this, if you draw, then first, which structure is coming, you see, this is your highest. So, first in 0 degree, you can say very that before rotation, staggered. 
Staggered form. Staggered form means staggered form is coming if you start from as a least energy. So uh, if you start from the beginning, suppose you start from fully. If you start from fully, this is a fully. After fully active, we are getting again. If you draw, which will come skew. So fully, fully is coming. Suppose you can start from here, sixty degree. If you start from here, that sixty degree is coming. Sixty degree. Then again one forty degree like this. If you stagger from, if you start from stagger, stagger, partial degrees, skew and dutch. If you draw the diagram taking different uh, rotation, different bond angles with energy. This is your energy, y axis, and this is the degree of rotation. If you see, you just to be know, if this is a stagnator, you will start from eclipsed form. Eclipsed form means that is fully eclipsed, that is uh, maximum energy and least stable. So this is your which form? This if you start from one, two, three, and this is your fourth. This is your fourth. So this is will be fourth, which is fully eclipsed, maximum energy. How much? That fifteen point six energy gap is from lowest to highest is fifteen point six. So this is fully eclipsed. Then fully eclipsed. Then energy order if you see which is coming then skew. If skew is one and second skew, this is your skew. This is your fully eclipsed form. Then stability order fully eclipsed and partial eclipsed. Partial eclipsed is this one. Right, partial eclipsed. Partial eclipsed means that is two. Here two. Two form is coming. This is your partial eclipsed. Then. This is your stagger first form, stagger form, stagger, and this is your skew. Here also skew. Skew means that is third, third form. So if you start from one, if you start from one, that is stagger form. Minimum energy. First, you will get which one? That is second. Second means which one? Partial eclipse. So, fully eclipse. Then partial eclipse. Fully eclipse. If you start from here, suppose here, fully eclipse. Then which is which is coming? Partial. Fully. These are partial. Fully eclipse. Partial eclipse. And these are skew. These are skew. And this is your stagger. So stagger is one. Then two will be partial eclipsed. So partial eclipsed. That is this one partial eclipsed. Stagger. Stagger is max. That minimum energy. So this is the first one stagger. Then that stagger form which is coming. Just you see stagger. This is partial. Partial. That means this one. Second, this one will be second in terms of energy. Minimum max, minimum energy. Then your which is second. Second is your skew. Correct. It is third. Third. First third. This is your second. This is also second position. And this is your third position. This is your first position. So first is your stagger, least energy, maximum stable. Then your partial eclipse. Partial eclipse is your second. Partial eclipse. Partial second. Then skew. Skew is this one. Skew from partially then skew. Partially. Uh, partially then skew. Then again, which one? Fully eclipse. That is your fourth. So this is fourth. This is third. This is also third. This is also second. This is also first. So this is regarding different types of isomers, conformational isomers, and their energy difference, and their stability, and their Sawhorse formula, and the Newman projection formula. And this is very important for your complete generation.
try to practice this part okay thank you